everyone, Alvira. We are going to make a fresh macaroni salad. All of it is fresh vegetables. I boiled the macaroni in shells. We got some mushrooms, some celery, some fresh parsley, mint, carrots, avocado, tomatoes, eggs, sweet peppers, and some fresh spinach. And we have an onion in there. I hope everybody's having a blessed uh, Thursday. I know I am. I'm dead. I did my circuit today. Finishing my fit team and drinking the rest of my water because I have to drink over a gallon of water a day and uh, stuff. So, And we're not going to use a Miracle Whip or uh, mayonnaise for our dressing. I'm going to show you a great dressing for this. So... chopping away yeah I had to do both my workouts um, today and I did all my workouts all week so all together I worked out six times so I'm ready for a break for the week and I thought uh, you know I'm gonna do some cooking today relax and just get some nice cooking in and get some nice food in. I was dying today though. I had my circuit, it was like 46, what was it, 46.54 or 46.20 something, I don't know, something like that, it was 46 something. And I had a minute on the bike, exercise bike, a minute on the uh, skier, it's a ski machine. 60 pound med ball is where I'm standing right now, you have to lift it up and put it on the table and then drop it off. I did that, uh, 135 pound trap bar lift, 10 times, uh, barbell, you have to do push to press and you squat, that was 10 times, 30 jump ropes, uh, sometimes the jump rope beats me up a little bit, and then I had this 25 pound plate carrier, you have to put over your head, you have to walk all the way to one end of the gym to the other, I about died, and I did okay, but I he says if you have to stop, which I could because this is the first time I've done it, He's like, you can't move. So I'd get down to the door, and then I had to turn around, and it's like, okay, I have to take a break here because my arms were dying. And he says, well, he was happy with the time because I did my best effort, and I was getting beat up by the uh, by the 25-pound plate because it was something I had never done. On a farmer's carry, I could pull two 45-pound plates and just walk them from one end of the gym to the other with no problem. Not that. And then this next week or so, I'm going to be buying some new clothes because my pants keep falling down. I'm really proud of myself. Down to a 37 and a half inch waist, everyone. Um, it's been a long haul. It's, this is my fourth year, so I'm getting there where I need to be. And I haven't gained anything back. I've plateaued a few times, and I'd rather plateau than gain it. So I'm very proud of myself. And I eat healthy. Uh, do I go out to eat much? No, I really don't. And, uh, and stuff, so. Maybe I have some avocado in there, too. I have vegetables. A lot of times what happens is I put the veggies on the plate, and then what happens is they get covered up, and then, you know, I write the recipe out, and I pretty much know the, like, it's the recipe I change. Like, when I eat salads and stuff, I never, I use the same vegetables, but it's because, the reason I use the same vegetables on everything is because it builds the immune system up and i found this out from various doctors that i know and they're like excuse me they're like this is good and eating healthy will help you keep a good immune system and i do i try to eat work out you know and keep my workouts sometimes i don't want to get up like this week we had oh uh, we had some snow but where i live we can have all four seasons in one day i always laugh about that so Avocado chopped. I love putting the fresh vegetables in. I'm finding that you, if you really, I don't know where everybody lives, you know, and stuff, but where I live, we have a Myers. And they always have like the 10 for 10, and you can do a lot with that and that's what I like and I always go for the 10 for 10 or sometimes they'll have this is really well you buy one you get one for a dollar 
you can't beat that. So the first one, maybe it's three dollars or four dollars, and then you get the next one for a dollar, or say it's six dollars. Like I get my fruit there. It's like six dollars and something for oranges. Well, you get one for a dollar. Same with apples. I get a lot of times like that. So that's how I do it, and I always make sure I catch the sales and stuff. My eyes just itching really bad. Excuse me. Probably from all the sweat today. But I wanted to get this cooking done because I want to be able to get my food and situated. And I want to get a marinade going because we're going to make something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Get our carrots chopped here. And sometimes I always catch it on the vegetables. And in the wintertime, I use my garage. I'll buy stuff and I put it in the bags and I leave it in the garage. And then when I need it, I just go to the garage and get it. Just like this week, they had potatoes on sale. So I was like, okay, I'm going to grab a bag. And I did, and they're in the garage. I use them. Because we're coming into the holiday seasons for Memorial and summer. And I do a lot of potato salads. Different kinds potato salads and stuff that people ask for when I go places. Hey, bring a salad, you know, and, or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, my circuit this week was really a, a lot harder. And, and the reason I ended up with that time, he said it was good, is because the first time the plate, he seen I was having issues with the plate. And then one time Andrew caught me on that push the press on, get your hands up. And it's like, all right, he's yelling at me, get your hands up. And it's like, and, and Dan will catch me. Dan was like yelling at me for it too. But once you get tired and you're in the round four, I guarantee you, you start getting a little bit of a loony tune because you're tired at that point. And you're trying to do your best. I mean, you, I don't want to take no hour. I used to take an hour. I don't do that anymore because they call me a vet now. And that's the reason they call us vets is because you, I've been there four years. So that means that you should be good or you should be halfway decent, you know, of what you're doing. And that's what I do, and I try to do my best. And my best should be, if I have a long circuit, I should be anywhere from 45 to uh, 55 minutes. And if it takes me longer than that, we got a problem. Chopping onions, anything, you gotta be careful. And then I had squats today. I have to squat on Tuesdays with Dan, and I have to squat on Thursdays with Andrew. I hate squats. But we have this rogue bar, and it goes around your neck, and you have to hold it like this, and then I hit the med ball. And he's like, if you don't hit that med ball, you got 10 burpees. And it's like, oh, hell no. And it's like, I'm not doing burpees. I've had to do burpees because I have dancy feet last week. I, uh, the med ball was harder because you have to tap and that, that stool with the, he puts a 45 pound plate on and there's a little table. So you have to sit down, but when you sit down, you're higher. The med ball, you're down low. But I did really good to get my squats. Some days I don't do too good. If I don't have high poundage on there, I'm doing good. If I have a really heavy weight, sometimes it's hard for me. But my upper body just is not as strong as my lower body. My lower body, I could pull some just like the other day. I had sumo lifting, and that was, this onion is really strong. Excuse me. And the sumo lifting, he laughed because 
I, I have dancy feet, and that's what he calls them, or happy feet. Dancy feet or happy feet. And I would be like, okay, I got this. Well, I got it. And I pulled 165. Well, I can pull pretty good on the deadlift. And, and next thing you know, I was like, I, the first round, I had 165. I couldn't do it. I got three reps instead of the four. And he's like, okay, let's take the fives off. So you take the fives off, and you got 155. Well, I can pull 155 with no problem. And next thing you know, then I go back to 165. I almost had that last rep, that last round. I was at 165 and I had it, and then all of a sudden my arms just gave out and the bar got away from me, and it was too far because you got to keep the bar really close to you. And I'm, uh, I was mad at myself, but I did good though. Knowing that I can do it next week, I'm anxious because now next week I know I can do it. I'm gonna pick that thing up. When you're pulling heavy, and this I've learned from my trainers, you don't do a lot of reps. You do four. If you're not gonna pull heavy, you'll get a lot of reps. Good time. And we'll be breaking here pretty soon. I really enjoy my workouts, and I think I enjoy them because I have such great trainers, and uh, my trainers have really done a lot for me, and I don't think I could have got it as far as I did without them. Goes up and then we'll come back and do our um, dressing and calorie count. break and come back and finish chopping. We'll see what happens here. We got this. Hey, we did it. And we're going to take a break here. And I'll be back with calorie count and our dressing that we're gonna make for this. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Keep God and the angels in your life. Stay healthy, eat healthy, and work out. I will see you in a few. Bye.